feminism is, it's a state of mind. It's a state of being who you are and not being treated as less. I think there's a possibility for the men's center um, to become a highly masculinized space if it's not given a clear mandate for inclusion. If the point of a men's center is to have a space where men can feel safe, then you should make sure that you are being inclusive to all forms of masculinity. Those include subordinate and marginalized men. A feminist is a humanist. It's coming from a space of hegemonic, privileged masculinity. Being who you are and not being treated as less. A hegemonic, privileged masculinity. Being who you are. A hegemonic, privileged masculinity. Being who you are and not being treated as less. The people who are proposing the Men's Center, Jeff McCann, Keenan Midgley, and Danielle Hornstein, have no experience of being a subordinate or a marginalized man. They have no experience of being in a gender studies class. You don't have to be treated especially either because you're a woman, you should just be treated equally as a human. You know, I encounter catcalling. I've been followed. I think these are pretty standard experiences for a lot of women out there. And I don't think that, that especially straight, cis men go through their daily lives experiencing that. You don't have to be treated especially either because you're a woman. As if you took so much care of gender issues and women's yeah. safety. You don't have to be treated especially either because you're a woman. I think these are pretty standard experiences for a lot of women out there. Because you're a woman. I think these are pretty standard experiences for a lot of women out there. Because you're a woman. And I don't think that, that especially straight <laughs> cis men go through their daily lives experiencing that. You don't have to be treated especially either because you're a woman. What an idea. And I don't think that, that especially straight <laughs> cis men go through their daily lives experiencing that. It's a no-brainer. Men can be feminists too. I don't think the Men's Center is fiscally responsible for uh, the student society right now. My wife told me I was a feminist. At first I didn't understand and I had to look it up. <laughs> the privileging of creating a men's space over other advocacy groups Applying for funding and space opens itself up to a lot of outside criticisms. I don't think it has anything to do with female or male. It has to do with people being regarded as equal. Considering there isn't a men's movement to uh, liberate men from women and from the gender inequalities imposed on men, I don't think that there's as much of a mandate to create a men's center. I don't think it has anything to do with female or male. It has to do with people being regarded as equals. Men have a lot of access to space that women don't have when we talk about having a women's center as a safe space. It has to do with people being regarded as equals. It's a bit different than, different than talking about a men's center as a safe space. I don't think it has anything to do with female or male. Feminism, political, economic, or social equality for women. I don't think it has anything to do with female or male for women female or male for women female or male and i don't think that that especially straight <laughs> cis men go through their daily lives experiencing that <laughs> it doesn't mean that you hate men all right do not engage the disruptors you <laughs> It doesn't mean that you hate men. You and your sons and your everybody and your friends are fucking men. Okay, All you. It doesn't mean that you hate men. Your friends are fucking men. Okay. It doesn't mean that you hate men. Your friends are fucking men. Okay. I don't think that we should be telling women anything. I think we should be telling men not to rape women and start the conversation there. Well, criminal, with, criminals with are not going to listen to that. No, so but I agree with about, you. We're not. I mean, yes, but men are com committing a crime. We can, we can prevent rape by telling men not to commit it. Did I want women to be able to protect themselves, don't you?
I want women to be able to protect themselves, yes, but I want women to not be in this situation. I'd like I but really there's going to be in that no, situation. No, that's not true. If you train and men not to grow up to become rapists, you, you prevent the rape. You can that stop. You think, you, think you can tell a rapist to stop doing what he's doing? We're, yes, yes. You really, and he's going to listen to a, yes, a, 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 a an ad campaign There are stop? organizations that do this. Men stop. Men can stop rape. Men stopping violence. They train young men listen. to not rape. And you think Over you can stop every rapist? I want women protected, and they got to protect themselves. But thank you both. Tell I'm sorry that rape. happened. Uh, the local has endorsed this rally and has uh, endorsed certainly and, and will join the U of T coalition against sexism. Rock, boy, and Rock, boy, and and like the so-called men's rights groups are actually hate groups. No hate speech on campus. No hate speech on campus. No hate speech on campus. No. Yes, it would be rape. Sorry. That would be rape. That would be rape. No, no, no. We're not super interested in talking to you, first of all, but basically we're here to shut down an event that is promoting the patriarchy. <laughs> very frustrated. I was studying all today and I took time out of my studies to come here. Would you like to ask him why he's here? I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sufficiently convinced that I'll receive an answer that isn't what I presented. Two of my friends committed suicide and I want the peace of understanding why that happened. Wow. When, when did this happen? It happened about two years ago. It was one after the other like that. Did you expect to get some addressing of suicide issue at the talk here? Yes, I did. What I have to ask on that, and I'll ask you, is why this space to talk about that? There, like Feminism, for example, offers lots of spaces to talk about mental health issues, talk about depression, both in men, women, and people who don't identify within the binary. Men have a lot of access to space that women don't have when we talk about having a women's center as a safe space. What I have to ask on that, and I'll ask you, is why this space to talk about that? There, like Feminism, for example, offers lots of spaces to talk about mental health issues, talk about depression, both in men, women, and people who don't identify within the binary. The Men's Center is not about gender equality. It is not about being fair to the men at SFU. Two of my friends committed suicide, and I want the peace of understanding why that happened. It's a bit different, different than talking about a Men's Center as a safe space. A room with a PS3 and a bunch of douchebags sitting around playing games. Two of my friends committed suicide, and I want the peace of understanding why that happened. And I don't think that that especially straight cis men go through their daily lives experiencing that. I think everybody's voice should be uh, heard. I wondered why the security was uh, trying to keep me back and I think it's for my own safety.
<laughs> so, so you believe it's hate speech, right? It is hate speech. I've never heard of them before. I don't even know what he's talking. Okay, I've never okay. heard of them before. We we invite you to educate yourself. I just yourself. Want, yeah. So and I just wanted to listen to him. Go on I just wanted to see what this guy is and what he's talking about. But now I can't get in. Increasing rate, need some shock value, fine I guess I'll start this off with rape When you take away the monster, all the feminists betray You'll find a man who may have suffered through the bigotry and pain Of being told that he's the only one who needs to learn the lesson That for sex against another isn't a moral transgression Feminists claim they want equality, screaming shout it every day But when you turn your back, they whisper Teach men not to rape Who gives a damn about the English blame and hate that wouldn't trust Right in the message that from birth a human being is meant to fail So you can profit off the fear, shame, and death that's off the scale But I guess, hey, no one gives a shit because the lesson's just from males There's this Mantra that they follow, call it make it stop rape. It's like they think that only males will drop their virtues on a date. The definition makes it hard just for the truth to see the light. It don't got forced development, so the truth gon' have to make it right. And let the people know some victims have been hidden from their sight to stop the propagation of misandric time spanning lies. Sexual assault is not what happens when a woman does a man against his will. Yeah, that's great. Get it right and understand. It gets worse, cause not only does society ignore the rape of men by women, nah, that's just a trash red on the floor. The thing that really got the public scared and feminists want buried is the truth some women lie to get. Ahead without care. Not the men whose lives they shatter from the words they choose to spray. It doesn't matter to them long as they get over and or pain. Feminists tell you false rape is just for MRA crime. Wanna see them try and say that to my nigga Brian Banks? Goal is simple, no one decent has to fall along the way. We'll let the biggest wallow in defeat and hold on to their hate. We need just one thing so the truth can finally start to win the day. So take action, give men what they need compassion. This taking holes, burning from the flames of the bowl, burning through those who oppose us because they message just too cold. Now they backtracking because it's already been for told. When the men show up to the gender war It's over For those who hadn't heard about us Look, we on a mission Every time they lie about us Yo, our enemies be wishing Hoping feminism scared the truth away from the lie But we stand right here And we ready for the fight Those who oppose us need a lesson in humanity to see Intolerance and hate is what consumes their whole damn ideology They say they want to smash the patriarchy But they fail to grasp that they hold men to the same obligations Put forth and said in the past To step up and defend the women with their life If that's what it takes from bullets, bombs, knives, assaults Nasty words, even debate. The system shall Men with all the privilege and power they say But a man who don't 
should a woman from her problems is a coward? Hey! And sexist if he says without any fear, shame, or humility. Women are adults who should hold all the same responsibility. But it's worth to keep the status quo and blame it all on patriarchy. But the word is out and the curtain's pulled. Welcome to the patriarchy. Men and boys have a hard to find their way. Got the lines off down on my side all day. Nobody be another be a parent. They say, yo, prison got the dead beast that don't pay. When a woman says she don't want no kid, that the government is all over it. They'll take her burden and that's it. Yeah, good thing she ain't got a dick. But watch out if she wants to keep it. Then all of a sudden it ain't no fetus. Put it in house, give it clothes and feed it. Someone find the nearest penis. Agent choice don't matter for the male. Gotta pay him now or he better not fail. If he comes up short, then they throw him in jail. His privilege gypped him. There's no bail. Slow it down, cause it don't get better anytime soon. Young men come to learn that quotas kicked them out the room. So they best not try for college scholarships. They might as well quit. Cause feminism wrote that female lonely on the slip. In the workforce after school, they find a load of the same shit. Ability be damned. Feminism wants none of it. If you think this world is run through male lineage, drop your twisted ideology and check your own privilege. Feminism is lost. It's just too full of hate. A new path to equality is set forth because we found a way. And all we needed was a simple change from within and a voice for men. The truth is taking hold, burning from the flames of the bowl, burning through those who oppose us because they message just too cold. Now they backtracking because it's already been foretold. When the men show up to the gender war, it's over. For those who hadn't heard about us, look, we on a mission every time they lie about us. Yo, our enemies be wishing, hoping feminism scared the truth away from the lie. But we stand right here and we ready for the fight.